Check the description for the following discount codes. I've had quite a few people ask me um, what holes I had to drill to fit this to my GT Amiga Titan, or more specifically, the measurements of, of what I did. Now, some of you, if you've already got this, will know that what you've got on the bottom here is three sort of guides or slots that you then have T-nuts that you simply slide into, which allows you to obviously move it sort of backwards and forwards um, and have the holes pretty much wherever you want, front to back. It's only the sort of left to right width that's fixed. So um, all I had to do on my DT Mega Titan was drill one hole. So I used two at the front, they happen to match up with two holes on the GT Amiga Titan, which I'll show you in a minute. And I just drilled one hole at the back to use this centre channel. And so I used three T-nuts out of the floor that they supplied. But I will give you the measurements um, from centre point to centre point of these outermost slots. And in fact, I'll tell you what the middle one is now, and I'll probably put them up on the screen. But using my steel rule, and this is gonna be metric in millimeters because it needs to be precise. And I'm in the UK. I'm not gonna be using thousandths of an inch. Although, weirdly, engineers over here still use that. But, um, so from the center of like your outermost two T-nuts, assuming, let's, let's say you're, you're counting from the center of like the left-hand one, the measurement to the center of the right-hand one is exactly 80 millimeters. So if this was the, placed in the center of that nut there, the center of the one over here would be exactly 80 millimeters. And then presumably, yeah, the middle one would be 40 millimeters. So looking at the slots, just to make it really clear, counting from zero, it's 40 mil to the center of the next one and 80 mil to the center of the next one. Now you might want to know the overall depth, I suppose. Like, like the maximum uh, you can use. And again, we will count from the center of one of these T-nuts. I'll slide it in because obviously there is material beyond where the actual thread is. So let's slide that in and we'll measure from the center of that to the center of where you would be able to put another one in. And that is, I'm gonna say 65. I've got something I can just slide that with. Uh, yes, pen. Slide that T nut down to there. That's that's as far as you could reasonably fit it. So I would say front to back, 62 and a half, 63 mil. So just again to be clear, with that at the back and another one at the front, measuring from the centre of the holes, it's 63 mil. So you've got 40 mil spacings across left to right and front to back, 63 mil from bolt hole to bolt hole. Now what I will do is grab the camera and we're going to take a look at my GT Amiga Titan and I'll show you where I've drilled the hole in relation to the two front ones and we'll take some measurements there as well. So here's my GT Amiga Titan wheel deck. The holes I've used are that one and that one, which of course are 80 mil between them. In fact, I don't know if it will show up on camera, but you can actually see little lines either side of the holes, and that's where the gaps are on those three channels on the CSLDD. And then this is the hole that I have drilled um, immediately back from the center hole. And obviously, as I just measured, that has to be 63 mil from bolt hole to bolt hole. So that's all I did, just that one single hole in the middle there, and, uh, and that worked perfectly. So yeah, pretty simple, <laughs> nothing uh, too exciting to show you there, but hopefully that's answered the question that a lot of you have asked me. Um, we'll just go through it again. Each of these runners is spaced 40 mil apart, center of each bolt hole to center of each bolt hole, and then top to bottom, 63 mil. Again, center of the T-nut to center of the T-nut you could put at its furthest point. Obviously you can move it in further if you want. You don't have to have this T-nut like right at the bottom there, you can you can drill the hole 
get my finger in it and drill the hole further up and have it halfway up if you want, but it just made sense to me to have two at the front and then one at the furthest point at the back. And that secured the wheelbase down without any trouble at all. It isn't a powerful wheelbase, so there was no issue there. And the GT Mega Titan is more than solid enough to have this on. Um, you know, I've tested it with, with 15 or 20 Newton meter wheels and it's still perfectly fine. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.